Welcome back, family. Welcome back to TNJ Construction, man. Hey, guys, I apologize. I haven't put a video together in a minute, but I've been busy with other stuff. But I'm back. I am back to pick up what I left off on the solar panel series that I promised I was going to do. So today we're going to be talking about how to size the amount of solar power you're going to need for your home or business. How to size it properly. So um, you want to stick around and hear this one out because it's going to help you down the road or you're going to help one of your friends or family down the road. As you already know, the power grid system back home in Liberia or in most terrorist country is not reliable. So definitely um, you're going to need alternative source of power. And one of those key alternative source of power you're going to need is going to be solar power. So um, today I'm going to show you or we're all going to learn together or how to do it the right way to size it for your need, what you're going to need it for. Okay, guys? Well, let's dive into it. Let's check it out. Hey, guys, you know the rules not so fast. Hey, I want to say a big thank you to all of my subscribers. I would like to say a big thank you to all of the viewers. And I would like to say a special thank you to all of our customers so far. My name is Sam T, and this is TNJ Construction Innovations LLC. And we are the bridge between you and your construction projects back home. So if you live in the diaspora and you're trying to build a house back home or you're trying to build a business center back home, or you're trying to you know build an estate and you need a reliable company that you can trust that will understand the type of quality you're looking for then you come to tnj construction and we'll work along with you you know whatsoever portion or part of it you need help with or even if you need help with the whole thing we can definitely help you out we have the crew we have increased our manpower and we are still recruiting and training back there so definitely, we know that we can take on multiple tasks. I myself will soon be there on the ground with the guys so we can all jump into the trenches together to give the, our customers the quality that they deserve. So, um, yeah. So don't be afraid. Be like, oh, TNJ look like they probably are getting, you know, a lot of work now. Are they going to be able to do my work and stuff like that? That should be the least of your worry. But one thing I'm going to promise you is we plan properly. We plan ahead of time. So if you come to us and you're wanting us to do your work, you have to be a little patient because planning is key. Once we have all our, you know, T cross and our I dotted and everything and we start your work, it's full speed after that. Um, so we want to make sure we do all the preliminary groundwork first and then we we take on that so we right now we are working on multiple projects at the same time and we are doing excellent with it so i'll bring you another update on the first one that we cast the main cave area that we cast i'll bring you an update on that the guys are going back now and they are taking out some of the board and the support from the cast is dry and we are doing the second level on that one, adding in the main kit. So I'll bring you an update on that one. Okay, guys. Hey, if this is your first time here, again, don't hesitate to subscribe because this is the place you're gonna get all the good information as it relates to building your home back in Liberia. Um, if you are a returning viewer and you haven't subscribed yet, please do. To all my new subscribers, I will let you say thank you. Welcome on board. But let's dive into the solar power thing I'm talking about. Let's see what's the best way or the right way to size your system where you're not going to have any issue. Year in, year out. Let's check it out. First thing first, to know the amount of solar power you're going to need 
for your home or business, you first of all need to have a list of what you're going to be using. For example, you have a LED TV that uses 100 watt. You have a LED monitor that uses 80 to 100 watt. A desktop that uses 80 to 120 watts. A laptop that uses 40 to 120 watts. You have an oven that uses 3000 watt. A refrigerator that uses 1200 watt. A dishwasher that uses 1200 to 1500 watts. I think you got the message. And how do you know all of these things? Every electrical appliances or equipment has a power consumption label that says exactly how many powers that particular equipment or appliance is using. So based on those um, power consumption label, that's how you size your solar power system. Let's use a laptop as an example. A laptop that uses 120 watt an hour and you're gonna be using your laptop for five hours a day at least so you multiply the 120 times 5 that will equal 600 watt but then you can just use the exact you can just stop there because you want at least two days of backup so for the days that the Sun don't shine you still want you still gonna need power so you add extra two days as a backup so definitely you multiply the 600 watt hours times two you get 1200 watt hours for the lithium battery um it comes in 100 amps at 12 volt you know for the lithium battery i'm using an example the battle bomb battery coming 100 amp at 12 volt so you multiply the 100 times the 12 it equals one thousand two hundred watt so that's how you get your watt you multiply your amperage by your voltage to get your watt equal one thousand two hundred watt now for the lead acid battery we're using in this example is it come at 12 volt but at 35 amps so if you multiply 12 times 35 you're going to have 420 watt but now the depth of discharge for the lead acid battery is 50 percent meaning you can only use 50 percent of the battery capacity so if you wanted uh 1200 watt you have to get enough battery that will be equivalent to 2400 watt because you can only use 50 percent of the lead acid battery for the lithium battery you can use you can deplete it and then still charge it and it will be fine. But for the lead acid battery, if you go below 50%, you're gonna end up damaging your battery and your system will soon be out of commission. So for your system to work efficiently for sizing solar power, you always want to have extra. So instead of all using just one battery, we'll use two lithium battery for this system to work efficiently. We know that we're not gonna have problem. And then for the lead acid battery, Instead of all using three, we we'll now use six because it can only be used as 50% of discharge. So that's how you determine your battery size. Now for your solar array, you need the solar array that will be charging the battery. How do you determine how much solar array you need? So you divide your solar array by the amount of hours of sunshine you're gonna have in your area. So for Liberia, we'll just say, for example, we're gonna our sun's gonna be up from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. That will be the peak hour of the sun. So you're going to now divide the 1,200 by 6. So that will give you 200 watt of solar array. But the solar array is cheap, so you want to at least bump it up to 300 watt. So you don't, again, so you don't have no issue. And then once you have your solar array, for you to have your charge controller now the 300 watt will bump you up to now we're going to divide it by 12 volt and that's going to give us 25 amps so that 25 amp you want to bump it up to at least 30 amps 
because you're not going to have 25 amp wire anyway. So you're going to be able to tell the amp to get the correct wire size that you're going to need for wiring your system. Again, you don't want no issues, so you all want to bump things up so you can have that little buffer in your system where everything will be safe. I know it can be a little confusing, so again, that's why you have TNJ construction to do all of the hard work, confusing work for you. So you just relax and then we take over from there. Again, just to refresh your memory, what is going to equal to arm time volt? W equal A times P. And how do you get your amperage? You divide your watt by your voltage to give you amperage. So you multiply to get your watt and then you divide to get your amperage. So that's how you do it. And um, the, these are all the technicality and the details you need to know to size your solar power properly without any issue, without any shortfall or anything like that. Sense battery are going to be the most expensive component in your system. You can increase your battery voltage by wiring them in series. That is um, the negative to the positive, negative to the positive, and at the end, your negative and positive leave goes to your source. So you can increase your battery power, <coughs> the voltage, by wiring them in series. So that helps you to save you money down the line on the solar array and the charge controller as you go. But if you also want to increase your amperage because certain appliances, you can wire them in parallel. So but I will have to bring a whole different video on that series circuits and parallel circuits and stuff like that but i mean this is what it's going to take to be able to you know have a efficient and correct power system for your home or business there it is guys hey again we are all still learning you know, or some of these things trying to help each other. So if I did miss anything that you already doing that I did not mention, you can bring it up. But I mean, as I said, it's gonna be a series. So anything that I miss, I will bring it back and make the correction on the next video. Um, one of the video I'm gonna be trying to target for this solar power system is um, the battery storage because that's where the safety comes in you know if your battery is not being stored or your battery bank is not being stored it's not well ventilated or in the right place and it get hot or overheat it can cause fire so these are some of the things um you need to be aware of when you have a solar power system and i will be doing another video on that to show people also we can all learn together how to you know do you have your battery bank in the right place and the right ventilation around it and, and stuff like that so but so far I mean so far so good you know um, I want to say thank you again for watching all the way to the end I want to say I love you and I would love to see you back in the next one. I know you're coming back, right? Okay, guys. Take care. Peace. Have a nice day. Good night. Whatever time you're watching this video. Remember to be back. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.